Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter the master of poppets today looking at another beer from beer drum that I got from their web shop uh, Link for the shops down below. They have a great selection of beers from this brewery that I've really come to enjoy This is another beer from Jackie O's and I saw this one and I thought this will be fun to try This is the Jackie O's bourbon barrel aged skipping stone a bourbon barrel aged quad I haven't reviewed a quad in probably years I think the last time maybe I reviewed a quad was when I did the blind tasting of quads with my dad of Westy 12 and Ept 12 from St. Bernardas and uh, uh, what's it called? Russia for 10, even though I don't think it's technically classified as a quad. But this will be fun. American quads, they can be really nice. They can also be a bit off, but this will be fun. This is a 12% quadruple aged in bourbon barrels. Apparently in 2011, Jackie O started experimenting with uh, Trappist yeast. They did a uh, uh, three beers. One was, is, it says it's just, the, the first one was called uh, uh, Sh Shade Abbey. It doesn't say what style it is, but then they also did a double and a triple, and then the fourth one they thought they should do a quad, which makes sense. And uh, yeah, they made this one, that they aged in bourbon barrels. So it uh, will be fun to try. As I said, I've really been enjoying the stuff I've had from Jackie O so far, but man, I must say, this is the darkest quad I've ever seen. That's almost black. <laughs> it is kind of, it's like so dark brown, it looks black. It's got some reddish notes in the bottom of the glass though, but holy crap, that's dark for a quad. Uh, the head when I just poured it was really nice, like big foamy head as you see on a lot of Belgian beers, like the authentic Travis beers, that kind of nice, a slightly tan, beige-ish kind of head, but man, that is dark. I wonder though, like, if this has like candied sugar or something, something like that, because often you find that in some of these Belgian quads, it doesn't say anything. It just says that it has notes of caramel, dark fruit, spice, and oak, and I guess bourbon, but a little bit fun to try it. So let's check out the aroma on bourbon barrel aged skipping stone. Wow, that is bourbony like crazy. So much almond and vanilla. It almost smells like a barley wine. Actually, it, it, it's, doesn't it smell a bit like a barley wine? Yeah. English style barley wine? Like, because it's so drenched in bourbon. I, I can see underneath though, like Belgian character, like a spicy note and uh, almost like banana. You sometimes get that with the esters from Belgian yeast. I'm getting like, almost like uh, caramelized bananas that you caramelize on the pan. Like a sweet caramelized banana. Maybe even a hint of a butterscotch toffee. Loads of caramel though. And there is some dark fruit to it as well. But holy crap, the bourbon on this is huge. It smells really nice though. A hint of alcohol too, but I mean, it's 12%. Yeah, that banana, I really get that now. Like caramelized banana, even like a little bit of a phenolic spice, uh, like maybe black pepper or something, but hmm, it smells pretty cool. It smells similar to almost like hybrid between quad and like English style body wine but let's give it a taste guys cheers and thanks a ton to beer gym for the beer wow loads of bourbon and dark fruit and rye bread okay definitely more definitely a quad on the flavor um, I don't know the aroma I think it's just the intensity of bourbon reminds me of when I have like bourbon barrel aged uh, but party wines from the states that are like in the English style. It's definitely more quad like on the flavor. Huge bourbon flavor though. Holy crap. Loads of vanilla and almond. Um, nice medium mouthfeel. Not as effervescent as some quads. Quads, I feel like in Belgian beers are often very more, much more carbonated than this. Um, lots of dark fruit, raisins, uh, rye, like a rye bread type flavor. That banana note is not there too much on the flavor. There's maybe a bit, but more is like plum and raisins, like bourbon soaked plums and like really dark fruity, really jammy dark fruits. Uh, yeah, bourbon or raisins, that's just, or bourbon or raisins. Raisins or plums that's been soaked in bourbon with vanilla and almonds. Has a drying oak aftertaste. It has some red apple character as well. Yeah, the more I sip on it, the more I'm thinking, yeah, quad. Uh, actually, really, but much more hefty quad <laughs> actually then well I, again i haven't had a quad in ages but it's just it seems more hefty and more dark and caramelized than quads i remember but 
this is really nice. Sticky toffee, sticky toffee pudding fudge. The rye bread is there still. Really good mouthfeel as well for a quad. Often they're kind of, as I said before, it's not as carbonated because quads are often very fizzy, but this is almost like Americanizing a bit with a, like a fatter mouthfeel, like it's quite chewy. Actually a bigger mouthfeel compared to their Imperial Stouts, at least the ones I've reviewed. It's like full and chewy, leaving a sticky gloss on your lips. It even has like a bit of a building candy sugar flavor. This is really complex. I think this might be one of the best American brewed quads I've ever had, actually. Even though it's a bit too dark, and even though it's got a bit of almost like barley wine type characters, but it's just there's still that essence of Belgian yeast flavor and phenolics and, and esters that you expect from a style like this. Like the spice, it's got like a spiciness, it's like pepper and like maybe all spice or something, like maybe even slightly clove. Uh, not, nah, yeah, clovey, yeah, clovey, like almost. And then like this spicy type rye and the fruity, dark fruity flavors. It's really good. Red apples, very complex. Get on the aroma, I'm really getting that like caramelized banana. Really nice stuff, guys. Wow. Jackie O's, I'm dicking your stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go 95 on this one. This is the highest grade I've given to a quad in a long time, but this is just really tasty and I love the intensity of bourbon character on it. That's really nice. So. Yeah, guys, you need to sell yourself some Jackie O's in your life, and especially this one, because I think this is one of the beers that people just leave and don't buy because it's all about the pastry or adjunct stouts. This is a fucking great barrel age quad. So, uh, yeah, 95, guys. Let me know what you think of the Jackie O's Skipping Stone Bourbon Barrel Age Quad if you had a chance to try it. This is a really, really nice quad, guys. Definitely worth a shot. If you want to try it, they still have it on Beer Drip, along with a lot of other Jackie O's stuff, so check them out. And uh, yeah, guys, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and let me know what you thought of Bourbon Barrel Age Skipping Zone if you had a chance to try it. And I'm going to say cheers, and see you guys in another video review.